back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be yet another tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. You guys know I had to jump on the pops of color in there. So I've gone with this like really intense green, kind of semi-cut crease type of look. I hope you guys like it. It's so different from anything that I would ever wear. Like I feel like I'm so out of my comfort zone right now, especially with this lip color. Like I just want to go and apply a nude, but it's kind of working for me so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you do please give it a thumbs up and if you are new here you know what to do subscribe to join the crew and with that being said let's get into the tutorial alrighty guys so we're going to start things off by prepping the skin a little i'm going to spritz my face with some of the mario badescu facial spray next up i'm going to go ahead and prime so i'm just using the mark jacobs coconut primer i love this stuff because it is super hydrating Plus, it smells like coconut, so it smells really nice when you apply it to your face. Next up, I'm going to go in with some foundation. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. My shade is Y305. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my face and then blend it out with a beauty blender. It was a bad idea wearing these big ass hoops today. They're gonna get in the way, I just know it. Next up, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of color correcting. My under eyes are super dark today because yesterday I had a really weird reaction to some lash serum. So my eyes are just, yeah, they're not the business today. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly color correct, just one little swipe to each. And this is, of course, the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer, but it is in a peachy tone, so I'd call it peach corrector I guess. And to blend that in I'm just using the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. Now for concealer I'm using an oldie but a goodie. This is hands down my ultimate favorite concealer. If you guys have been watching me for a while then you'd know that. But yeah this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. The shade that I'm using is NC20 and I'm gonna go ahead and conceal my under eyes and just any other areas that I want to kind of highlight. So to blend in that concealer I'm just using another one of the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brushes. These brushes are amazing. If you guys live in Australia you can pick them up from Priceline. Super inexpensive and they're amazing when it comes to blending out your concealer. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly set those areas that I just concealed before they get a chance to even crease up on me. So I'm using the Australia Ready Set Go Finishing Powder. Love this stuff. You guys who watch me regularly would know how much I rave on about it. It's honestly the best powder for setting underneath your eyes. So I'm just using the Sigma highlighter brush. Yes, it is a highlighter brush, but I feel like it is perfect for the under eye area. I'm looking so weird right now with all that powder on, but I'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with the Benefit Hello Flawless Pressed Powder. My one is in the shade Petal, and I'm just using a Sigma Large Powder F30 brush to pat that onto my face. Damn, I'm so obsessed with this powder. That balanced everything out really well. So now what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna zoom you guys in because I wanna get started on the eyes and then I will finish off the rest of my face later. All right. We are up close and personal now. So I'm just using the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre to prime my lid. And I'm using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush to apply. I actually have not used any other lid primers with the Jaclyn Hill palette. I feel like the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot has just been working really well for me. And like they say, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. Now that that's all blended in, I'm just gonna quickly go ahead and set it in place. Again, I'm using the Australis Ready Set Go Powder. Always make sure that you do set your lids because it makes blending these shadows later on a lot easier. Alrighty, so the first shade that I'm gonna be going in with is this one right here. This is Pukey, and I'm using the Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush to apply that to my crease. So this is going to be the first crease transitional shade. So as you guys can see, I'm just dragging this shade from the inner corner all the way into that inner corner, and then I'm pulling it through to the outer corner. So next up, I'm gonna be taking the shade next to Pukey, which is Hunts, and I'm using the Zoeva 227 Lux Soft Definer. What I'm gonna do with this shade is also apply it to my crease, but I'm really gonna concentrate it right in the crease because I want it to help to define the eye a little more, so I'm not gonna be blowing it out as far as I did with that Pukey shade. So as you can see, it's the same motion as before, just applying it from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner, but I'm not blowing it out as much as I did with that first shade. So once I've applied that second shade Hunts to the crease, I'm just going back in with the first brush that I used to apply Pukey, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend along, just so everything is nice and, of course, blended. I wanna go ahead and deepen it up just a tad bit more, so I'm gonna go into the shade Mocha, and I'm just using the Elf 
professional blending eye brush so I'm gonna apply that through my crease as well just to help define it a little more and then in between I just like to go back in with the brush that I applied hunts with just to kind of mesh the two together so as you can see it really does help to kind of define the eye especially because I'm doing a cut crease today so you can totally see the difference between each eye so what I'm gonna do now is finish off the other one. Next up is the fun bit, which is of course cutting the crease. So what I like to use is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer again, and it's very important to use this kind of brush. This is the Sigma F70 Concealer Brush. Any concealer brush, it doesn't have to be Sigma, but one that looks like this will be perfect for cutting the crease. So what I do is I just take a teensy bit of concealer to the back of my hand, and I kind of just evenly coat my brush in it and then what we're gonna do is just apply it to the lid so I kind of like to start low and then I'll kind of figure out like where I want it to sit so as you can see I'm kind of just doing it really slowly what I like to do when I get to this point is kind of like look up and you can see that it kind of presses where the crease will be so that is where you want to bring it up to so as you can see I've only really brought it like two thirds of the way out and I'm keeping the black, the black, the last third of my eye blank because I'm going to go in with a dark color there. So there's really no need to bring the cut crease all the way through to there. Plus it really depends like what kind of cut crease you're doing. Today I'm just going to be doing a semi cut crease. So yeah, in my case, whenever I do like a semi cut crease, I only ever really bring it two thirds of the way through. All right, so next up is the exciting part. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the green shadow from the palette. So this one right here called Diva is the one that I wanna put on today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my lids all over those areas that I just cut with the concealer. And I'm just using the Real Techniques shading brush to do so. You also would have noticed that I didn't set that concealer in place. I always feel no need to, especially if I'm doing a cut crease, because it kind of helps the shadow to really pop a lot more, especially if you're using a shimmery shadow. So yeah, I mean, it's up to you if you want to set it in place, but in my case, I never really do. Also, if you ever have difficulty getting into that very inner corner of your eye with shadow, don't be afraid to use another brush. So here I'm just using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader. So it really helps to get right into that inner corner. Next up, I'm gonna start working on that outer corner of my eye. So I'm taking this shade down here called Enchanted. It looks black on screen, but it is a very, very dark kind of forest green shade. So I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that to the outer corner of my eye and blend it into that other shade that I have on my lid. I'm just going back in with a teensy little bit of the mocha shade that I applied to my crease because I feel like it kind of got lost um, when I cut the crease. So just a teensy bit. As you guys can see, even though I'm blending at this edge, it doesn't really move the cut crease because the concealer is essentially set in place by the shadow. So if you ever feel like you kind of want to add maybe just a teensy bit of something to the crease, like the cut edge, then you can. I hope that made sense, but yeah. Again, I'm just going to go back in and blend. I'm using the same brush that I used at the very beginning, the 228 Luxe Crease Brush from Zoeva. So yeah, just go ahead and blend, blend, blend. Next up, I'm just going to go into the shade right next to Enchanted. This is Central Park. I really want to add a little more brown to that outer corner, so... I'm just going to go ahead and apply. I'm using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush because this is going to really help it be nice and blown out on that outer corner. So for my bottom lash line, I'm firstly starting off with the shade Pukey again, and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe Pencil Brush, and I'm going to go ahead and smoke that out along my bottom lash line. Next up, I'm going to be taking the shade Hunts, which is the same shade that I applied in my crease as well. And I'm using just another pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30. Again, just running this along my bottom lash line and slightly smoking it out. Lastly, I'm going to be taking the shade Enchanted again. And I'm just going to go ahead and run that along my lash line as well, but I'm only dragging it into halfway. So as you can see, I'm kind of connecting it up to that outer corner shade on the top lid and I'm sort of dragging it along my bottom lash line, but ending it halfway through. Alrighty, so for the most part, the eyeshadow part of this look is done. I'm just gonna go back in and kind of blend around. I like to kind of take my time. I'll just like look at it 
and see what I want to do. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with that. So next up, I'm going to be going in with liner. So I'm just using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Liner. So I'm going to run that through my tight line and my waterline. Next up, I'm just going in with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Next up, I'm going in with my fancy looking tampon mascara. I always say that, but I forget to actually say what it really is. So this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. It's just looking like this because it's their limited edition packaging, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, just going to give my lashes a quick coat, bottom and top. Onto falsies now. The ones that I've decided to use are these babies right here. The House of Lashes Boudoir Lashes. I have used these before and I really, really love the style of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply those to my eyes. And I'm also using the House of Lashes Black Eyelash Adhesive. Alrighty, so lashes are on. And I just remembered that I haven't added like any inner corner highlight or brow bone highlight. So I'm going to go into my favorite beam. I love this for the inner corner, guys. Like, it's my current obsession. All right, so the eyes are officially done. They're super dramatic. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm just using this shade right here from the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro palette. And I'm using the Sigma F05 Small Contour Brush to contour my jawline, my cheeks, and a little bit around my hairline with. I'm also gonna use that same shade to contour my nose with, and I'm using this little baby right here, the Look Good, Feel Better Eye Shading Brush. This is my favorite brush when it comes to contouring the nose. It's just the perfect size, and the bristles work amazingly, so yeah, I love contouring my nose with this. To bronze, I'm just going in with the Melania Baked Bronzer in Luminoso, and I'm using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So I'm gonna run this over my cheeks and around my hairline, just to give my face a little more color. For blush, I'm just using this one from Tarte. This is their 12 hour Amazonian clay blush in the shade Captivating. I love this blush because I feel like it is the type of color that would go with every single look. It's like a really beautiful, warm, peachy, slightly pink shade. So yeah, I'm just going to apply that with the Sigma F40 Angled Contour. This is another one that I have. So yeah, just putting that on my face. I have this like mark here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a little, a little shiny little mark. And I think it's from, um, from a little pimple that decided to sit on my face over the weekend. But anyways, that's okay. We're just gonna ignore it. For highlighter now, I'm gonna be taking this shade right here. My fingers will get out of the way. And this is the Sleek Highlighter Palette in Cleopatra's Kiss. So to apply that highlighter, I'm just using the Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. Damn, okay, I just made that like 20 times more visible. How can I hide you? Slightly went away. It happens, it's all right. Anyways, yes, I am done with highlighting. Oh, I got a pick a lip color. I always forget things, man. I'm going in with this lip liner from Models Prefer in the shade Infinite Spice, and I'm going to go ahead and align my lips. I'm not exactly sure like what lip color I want to go with this look, so I'm just gonna firstly try on the shade Cork from Dose of Colors. It's a really nice like warm brown kind of shade. So I'm really liking how that lip color looks, but just to be extra, I'm gonna take a teensy little bit of Max Peach Stock lipstick and dab that on the center of my lips and kind of blend it in. Alrighty guys, so that concludes the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I like how the look turned out, but it's so different from anything that I would usually wear. Even the lip color, like you guys know that I just want to get back and apply a nude rather than this lip color, but I kind of like how it looks. Let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. As always, I will list all of the products that I used throughout this video down in the description box where you guys can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're still here at the end watching, then you may as well subscribe, join the crew so you don't miss any more videos that I post. As always, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.